Ah, quick play time. And today we have, well, Cap Italian 90, but not the Mega Drive game we all know and love from Mega Games 1. This is the Master System release, which is less known. Uh, released in 1990, the same as the Mega Drive version, and probably just as crap. It's actually the second uh, World Cup official licensed game, the first being a World Cup Carnival, which was in 86, I believe. Yeah, uh, 1986 World Cup in Mexico or somewhere, and that was released for the Commodore 64 and Spectrum and all the 8-bits, and was actually a rehash of an earlier game because they couldn't get the proper game released on time. Okay, so uh, what we got? Select game mode, World Cup, Test Match, <laughs> let's go for the World Cup, come on! Team, well, I think it's going to have to be Denmark, of course. Group B! Denmark, Argentina, you uh, were... U.R.S. U.S. U.S. U.U. Russia. United Russia. Um, these are all the teams. Scotland over there in Group C. England in Group F with Holland and Ireland and Eggy. Okay, Elimination League first day. Graphically, this is quite similar to the Mega Drive, but then... Ooh, a bit of sprite flicker. But then, the Mega Drive version wasn't exactly cutting edge, was it? Although, oh, oh my god, I think it was the first game I actually ever played on the 16-bit hardware. What the hell's going on here? Oh my, giddy on, come on, what the hell's going on? Yes, come on, pass. No, no, you, you ran off the, I'm, ah, what are you doing over there? Keep on the pitch. We're playing football, we're not playing tennis. Right, come on, kick. I'm not, this is not going well. This is not going how I planned it at all. Look at that kick. I like how they just stop and launch their foot out into the middle of the field. It's brilliant. Okay, right. Okay, you. Take the ball. Pass it. No, you jockey. This is a bit frantic. Then my. Oh, there we go. There's a better goal kick. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're going the. No. No. I don't know what's going on here. This is this is abysmal. So yeah, this is quite similar to the um, Mega Drive one. I did have a lot of fun playing the Mega Drive version though. It was just something. I think it was probably because it was the first time I'd played a Mega Drive, and I was enraptured by it, even though it was dog turd. And this is even worse. This is ah. At least the Mega Drive version was somewhat playable, especially with two players. This feels like. I don't know, it feels like I'm sticking my face in custard and dying. Okay, well, okay I'm controlling him. Can I, okay, so I can change who I can am by pressing button two. Okay, so, okay, okay, so, no, I didn't, okay, so it changes automatically, and you can change who you are by pressing button two, I believe, and then you can kick by pressing button one. But it's very, very, Tricky! Ricky! And there's a lot of sprite flicker. Oh, this is... This is worse than the Mega Drive version by a country mile. At least the Mega Drive version, you could actually pass quite effectively. This is... Phenomenally hard to pass. I can't even... Okay. It's... Oh... Because as soon as you've got the ball, you then have to control it, but you can't. It's so difficult to control, but you can't really. This is going to be one of the quickest quick plays in existence. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to smash the crap out of something. It's, it's a bit like I'm just watching the demo screen. I could easily be watching the demo. That is how playable this. Oh! Right, that is it. This quick play is over. This game is a pile of unwashed dog turd. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.